continue. I want to read out some comments from Facebook. These ones are just amazing. Now, the first person, and it was Iman Gems. Mombasa na wakilisha kama kawaida. DJ Hugh Skills are always on top. I'm loving the energy in studio, and we love you right back. How are you doing? Do talk to us. What song do you want Hugh Skills to play for you? He'll do just that. Now, I have Mate Jacob. Do you know what he's saying? I can't compare my mom with my girlfriend. She's the best. Play for me, Chris Martin, mama. Wow. Wow. Chris Martin, what are you doing? Like that. Island vibe. Friday. What are Island vibes, yeah? On Furahi Day. What are you Island vibes? What are you doing? Island vibes. But there's a comment I'm trying to look for. I just saw it here. Just now. There's someone who was saying, like, hi, the shoes on top. Tell his kids a dance. Tell them to come for rock gigs. Now I see me mosh. Actually, we don't dance with mosh. Yeah, if you see me mosh head bang, come for rock gigs. Okay, for those people who don't know moshing, so there's usually a mosh pit. There's a spectacle after like whoever is performing. Then there's a apo. There's a mosh pit. So if you wanna dance, you don't dance from where you're seated. You go there. Kila mtu ane na uko alafuni na unenda kudance. Na kunene dance yao se wa rock ine to mosh. Yeah, that basically just head banging, just like yeah, your head banging, like, the role of death. Uh, there, 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 there are many <laughs> styles of head banging. It's just yeah. that guys don't know. So yeah, the best one is just that nodding of the head so in the a way. Best way to get that is to go for gigs. Yeah, just kudya. Yeah. Gigs where I'm at. You'll see a lot of moshing. I do a lot of moshing. Rock gigs are very affordable. Yeah. They're very affordable. And we have so many rock gigs lined up for you guys. I'm going to be telling you all about them. We have so many. In fact, tonight there's a gig. Yep. There's a rock gig mm -hmm. tonight. Hi. And like I promise you, we have a guest in studio. So we'll be talking to him just now. But before that, now the hashtag is rock254. I am at Philin Jin, and that's on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube as well. Go subscribe to my channel. Go like my... Oh, I have a page. I told you, yeah? yeah I have yeah. a new Facebook page. Page, so go like that as well. And at Rock Tour 254, we have a fresh page. Yep. So go like that on Twitter mm -hmm. and Facebook. Don't just check it out. Like the page as well. <laughs> and Hugh Skills, he has his pages as well. That's on Twitter and Facebook at Hugh Skills. If you have any, anything you want to ask him, like, yo, I'm a DJ. Can I come play to your show? He's your guy at Hugh Skills. Yeah. yeah like, like, yo, yeah. where are you playing tonight? Just ask him directly. Just you don't check have my to page. Go to it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you can go directly to the Rock Tour page. <laughs> yes. And mm -hmm. You'll no, be informed because we'll be posting tiny mm. events and everything. We'll keep you posted. Mm. So go like the pages. Rock events, well. please. Rock, Rock events. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we have a guest in studio. We told you are talking about Mother's Day, which is there. It's going to be happening tomorrow. And I'll be letting you which perfect gift you can get for your mom for tomorrow. I'll be telling you some of the gifts and what you can do for your mom tomorrow. Because... Oh, I don't have money now. So you go to end months. There's so many things you can do for your mom just for tomorrow. I'll be letting you know some of those things. Mm -hmm. Now, we all know this is a holy month for our Muslim brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. It's Ramadan. And to help us break down what Ramadan actually means, mm -hmm. we have a guest in the studio, and he is our very own right here at YT4. He's a presenter, he's yeah. a writer, he's a reporter, yeah. he's a movie director. He Whoa. has uh, so many things in one. Mm -hmm. He goes by the name of Abdul Razak. Abdul Razak in Gutier. I don't in know Gutier. if you guys got I'm that. Yeah. Abdul Gutier. Razak. I'm but you can just call him Abdul Razak, yeah? yeah? And presenting. I do, I do, I do, I do. Yeah, well, I can see you. you and he knew he was coming for a rock show, so he just, so just had represented. to. Just black, black on black. Yeah, we like awesome. that. Yeah. We like Very that. Nike. Very correct. Yeah. <laughs> I got that. Right. I got it with flying colors. <laughs> Yeah. Right, Abdul, welcome to the show. This mm -hmm. is your partner to uh, mm -hmm. What do you think about the show? Uh, well, I'd say I'm going to reveal a secret right now. Mm -hmm. Can I reveal it later? No, mm -hmm. no, right now. Okay, right now. Right now. Tomorrow. Uh, for those who don't know, I, I listen to rock. Okay. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Now yeah. I can dance. Yeah. I okay. can dance. So we have a rocker in the house. Yeah. 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 We have a rocker in the house. Mm -hmm. Let us sink in, yeah? Mm. And also, Sorry. what's your favorite rock band? Uh, it's it's really hard to say which one is my favorite. Rock okay, band. Yeah. name five rock bands. Just so or that we three can use three. it. Top three, maybe. Okay, so yeah, top three. Okay, so we'll start with Five Figure Death Punch. Ah, FDP, <laughs> yeah. Five Figure Valentine. <laughs> there is Corn. Ah. There is Red. Ah. There is Red. Look at that. 
Me, there's no punk. <laughs> there's no Siju. Tell that to you. Metal. 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 There's dogs. Okay. The honest is the skeps. There's so many of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. List them down. There's just so many. So, 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 Oh, oh, he didn't even say skillet yet, yeah, but yeah, yeah, now you have. As in life. Life. But everybody as in loves life. skillet though. Skillet are dope. Yeah, skillet yeah. are so dope. Skillet are dope. Everybody loves skillet. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Now, mm-hmm. so which song do you want uh, his kids uh, to play for you as we Give continue back. the interview of Wangaya Nakutafkia so that when we come back, yeah? Mm-hmm. I just pound on uh-huh. him. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> The one that he's going to play. He's like, mm-hmm. now who? Hmm, let me see. I don't know if I should take Disorder by mm-hmm. System of a Down, mm-hmm. or if I should take uh, Darkest Part by Red. We'll do both. Well, the yeah, why I not love all? Why not all? That's Red and S.O.D. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. He loves S.O.D. by Red. Yeah, he big time. Love, love, oh, love, nice. love, love. Mm-hmm. All right, so welcome to the show. Where can, Thank you. Okay, just... Maybe you can introduce yourself. I introduced you, but maybe anything I left out, you can go ahead and tell the guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah use camera for it. Talk to the guys. Okay, so mm-hmm. most of you have seen me on various uh, shows. Mm-hmm. You've basically seen me on Y254 News before I moved from there. You have seen me yesterday on Unnashid, and actually, I'd like you to watch Unnashid every Friday, starting yeah. five to six. We will be discussing very exclusive Islamic matters affecting the youth mm-hmm. all across the country and also globally. We have very nice music playing there and we have very nice discussions that are going to include you there. You can find me on all social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram okay, so. at Razaki, at Official Razaki. So to spell it up for you, it's R-A. Z-A-K-I, so at official Razaki on all social media platforms. I'll not go on and introduce myself so much because okay. you've said right. so many things except <laughs> one. Except one, yeah. Except one, That's which I'm going to say right now. All right, go ahead. 3D modeling and animation is also one more thing I do. Cool yes. logos for you. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. Oh. He creates cars and cameras and I don't know, like he just comes. You should check out his page, by I think the way. We should we should leave some suspense because if you mention everything, they are not going to look at the page. They're like, ah, oh, we expected you. <laughs> yeah, that. Exactly. <laughs> All right, now, welcome to the show. First things first. Mm-hmm. It's the holy month of Ramadan. Yeah. So when does Ramadan begin and when does it end? Uh, so uh, I will break it down mm-hmm. very, very simply here. Mm-hmm. Ramadan begins on the first day of Ramadan, mm-hmm. which is like, when? you know, for example, mm-hmm. first of May, something oh, like that. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm just giving an example from the Gregorian calendar to oh, express oh. how it starts on the calendar. Mm-hmm. But uh, according to scholars of Islam, since the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, mm-hmm. Ramadan starts when the sighting of the moon happens. Oh. So, say oh, for okay. instance, we sight the moon today, tonight, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. then Ramadan starts tomorrow. Oh. And then when we sight the moon, how it's going to end is when the moon is sighted mm-hmm. tonight, then we know that tomorrow we're ending the Ramadan. All so right. it's either 30 or 29 days, depending on the setting of the month of Ramadan. I mean, depending on the setting of the moon. Uh, can, can I ask a question that? Yeah. W- what's it do to the moon? The moon is, uh, is used in the calculation of the Islamic calendar. Ah. So, yeah, there are 12 months of the calendar in mm. Islam, and many people, I'm sure, they do not know about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm just going to mention the months. I'm not going to mm. mention all of them, but mm. I'll yeah. mention the month before the Ramadan and the month after the Ramadan and the one which has the, the mm. Hajj. Mm-hmm. So, before the Ramadan, there's the month called Sha'aban, mm-hmm. and then after Ramadan, there's the month called Shawwal. Mm-hmm. And then the last month of the year in the Islamic calendar is Dhul Hijjah, mm-hmm. which means the month which has got the Hajj where mm. the pilgrimage is performed. Wow. And in the first month of the year after the Dhul Hijjah is Muharram. Mm. Hey, so yeah. which month are we following the Islamic mm. calendar? Which month is this? So Korean. we are in the month of Ramadan, which is the ninth the in the ninth calendar. The ninth month. Yeah, and oh. the year is 1440. <laughs> Yo, oh. yeah. this seems oh. like a movie. Yeah. I need, so we need like, to sit down. I am with him every day, and we've <laughs> never actually talked about this. We don't talk about religion. See your life. But maybe we, I, sh- I need some classes See just so life. that, you know, you need those... those I have some not very everything, interesting but you need, here for you. Yeah. Yeah. We have basically time-traveled. 
Rock Tour is no longer in 2019, <laughs> it's, it's now back. in 1440. <laughs> wow, who was playing that? Look at that, yo! Yeah. <laughs> who was Rock Okay, there? but that's some Check that good out. stuff right there. Mm. So maybe you'll tell me more off air, but I want to know yeah. something. Like, why is it important? Why is Ramadan important to Muslims? Ramadan is a very important month to Muslims, not because of the fasting. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that people know about conventionally across the, across yeah. the globe. But what makes Ramadan very special for Muslims mm -hmm. is that the Noble Quran, which is the Islamic scripture, mm -hmm. authenticated as mm -hmm. coming originally from God or Allah without being translated or without any other thing being affected to it. Right. It's, it was brought down in the last 10 days of the month of Ramadan. Mm -hmm. Now, that's, where, that's one of the reasons why the month of Ramadan is very important for Muslims. Now, it's very holy because of the portrayal of the true nature of Islam, that's mm -hmm. peace and generosity to all people, Muslims mm -hmm. and non-Muslims, and also sharing all our love and our belongings and everything with the poor and also with everyone around ah. us. So that's why it's very special. Also, there are two people who died in the month of Ramadan mm -hmm. who are very special. There is a... Uh, the daughter of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the name of this girl, this, uh, okay, she was a very nice lady. Her name is Fatima, radiallahu anha. I'm just going to mention her, but there is also a few other people who died in this month of Ramadan, which yeah. makes it very important. Now, and Fatima is important because we're celebrating women. And also, yes, and also to, make it, to make it really clear right now, my co-presenter on the Anashid show, her name is Fatma. Mm. Yeah, okay. Fatima, shout out to Fatima, by the way. Shout out to yeah. all the Fatimas. Shout out to all the girls, actually, and all the mothers. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, just to make it really brief here, uh, the month of Ramadan is also very special because of the fasting. Mm -hmm. Now, in the fasting, uh, the month of Ramadan has been, uh, has been divided into three thirds, mm -hmm. which are each of ten days. Mm -hmm. So, the first ten days in which we are in right now, because it's this, this is day six of the month of yeah. Ramadan, is the ten of Rahmah, or the ten days of mercy, where people have the opportunity to seek utmost mercy from the Almighty Allah. And also Muslims have got the opportunity and the responsibility to, expl to express a lot of mercy mm -hmm. to fellow Muslims and to fellow human beings and to fellow creations. Yeah. That also includes animals and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we have to be kind to animals, by the way. Yeah, exactly. we need to be kind exactly. to animals. Yeah. Whether it's Ramadan or not, you got to be kind to animals. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing that everyone's got to understand, yeah. that Ramadan is like the climax okay. of expressing Islamic Masih, nature and yeah. Islamic character, but all through the year, every time, all through as long as you're alive, you have got to express mercy ah, and kindness right. to everybody else. Now, so, the second ten, mm -hmm. ten days of the month of Ramadan, in this, it's the ten of Malfira, which in Arabic means forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Now, it's the ten where forgiveness is given to human beings, mm -hmm. to Muslims also, when during these 10 days of Ramadan. And then there's the last 10 days, which is now freedom from the hellfire. Ah. You know, imagine it's like, it's like a presidential amnesty. Ah. <laughs> you so, know? God Arrested. forbid, but if you die just after Ramadan, that is a straight <laughs> ticket yeah, actually, to heaven. It's very, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a straight ticket to heaven. It's like, you're getting a one-way ticket to wow. heaven. Wow. Like, you don't fall on this other side of the door. Just <laughs> no. fall on the other, on right. the inner side of the door. Like on the inner side of the gate. Yeah, like this. 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 Yeah, Exactly. So, who's obliged to fast during Ramadan? I want us to do this as uh, after that. Then we go to top six at six because mm. it's six already. Yeah. So, it's okay. top three at six. Let's so, right it. after Let's you answer that. But who is obliged to fast when it comes to Ramadan? Then. Now, fasting, or uh, as like every other act of worship in Islam, mm -hmm. is prescribed for everyone who's above teenage. Yeah. Uh, shall I say, it starts at puberty. Yeah. So, everyone who's clocked puberty onwards, you're so, supposed you to You know, fast. puberty starts early for some people, mm -hmm. and for some people it starts really late. So, yeah. can you maybe just... Um, Estimates, maybe uh, for 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 boys, mm -hmm. it will be fourteen, mm -hmm. and for girls, thirteen. Uh -huh. But uh, just to make it really clear, once someone is at puberty, mm -hmm. fourteen is the average age where someone is supposed to fast. Yeah. Yeah. Now, all the acts of worship, including the fast, you're supposed to be sober. Mm -hmm. you're, you're not supposed to drink or yourself. indulge in any thing. Okay, what, what I mean here. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, you're not supposed to be intoxicated. Yeah. But now the sobriety that I'm talking about here, mm -hmm. apart from being intox uh, freedom from being intoxicated, mm -hmm. is the sobriety of 
you're not crazy, okay? So you will not say that someone who is in Mathare hospital with a mental problem is supposed to fast because, first of all, they do not know what they are doing. What's happening? Which yeah. also takes us to the third, uh, to the third reason, to the third criterion on people having to fast, mm -hmm. which is you must have the intention. Mm -hmm. You must have the intention to fast for you to fast. And because this is the Ramadan, then you must have an intention the night before that. Tomorrow I'm going to fast. It's oh. really important. Really just don't wake up. You don't just wake up here like, and I'm fasting. You gotta fast. have a reason why. Yes. Okay. And now there is a very important point we've got to note here. The people who are supposed to fast, we've classified them. Now there are a group of people who are allowed to not fast, mm -hmm. and that's very important because Islam, according to the to the description in the Hadith. It's the deen that was brought to us through the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to guide us and also to help us. By helping us, it means to make things easier for us. Now, people who are allowed to not fast are ladies when they're on their menstrual cycle. Mm. So when they're on this, I don't know, three, four, five days, they are allowed not to fast because that time they feel weakened mm. and uh, i think ladies can explain better how yeah. it affects them mm. and also people who are not who are allowed to to break their fast are people who are traveling mm -hmm. now a uh, 15 minutes commute is not traveling and also if you're <laughs> going to be on the road for you know 15 <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, so you're not traveling so so if it's a journey that will take a period of say hours, mm -hmm. two, three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours, you're allowed to eat on that day mm -hmm. because of the hardships experienced during this time. Right. Uh -huh. And also people who are on medication for nutritional benefits, mm -hmm. for example, if you're on nutritional injections mm -hmm. or if you have uh, ulcers that will affect you when you're fasting, you're allowed not to fast. Mm -hmm. nope. Even also the people who are so sick mm -hmm. to an extent that if they stay hungry for a whole day, they will be affected medically. Yeah. yeah now, yeah. they also are allowed not to fast. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. I want to know what are the consequences for mm -hmm. not fasting? Let's say I'm Muslim. Yeah. It's the holy month of Ramadan, but I'm like, ah, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> like, yo, I haven't seen my boyfriend in now for years. He just got back. We gotta mm -hmm. go out and party, you know? <laughs> then yeah. what happens? So, uh, the judgment for mm. someone who has eaten mm. during the day mm -hmm. in the month of Ramadan. First, you will have to feed poor people, 60 poor people. If not, then you will have to fast for 60 consecutive days. Wow. Now, these 60 consecutive days, you don't break them and say, I'll fast 10, I'll fast 9, mm -hmm. I'll fast until they're, they're all there. It's consecutive days. If you fall sick, somewhere in the middle of that, you've got to start again. And now there is something that's really dangerous that's got to be noted here. If you eat on a single day in the month of Ramadan, mm -hmm. it's equivalent to someone who's committed fornication. Wow, that's harsh. Wow. And <laughs> fornication is but among the cool seven stuff. major sins oh. in Islam. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's good to know the rules and follow mm -hmm. them. Play but I like how it is. Like, if down. you miss, then you have a chance for a do over. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. You can at least. It's 60 days, yes, but you have a do over. Now, since it's 6, right? Yeah. It's 6 p.m., we gotta do our top, our top 3 at 6. But before mm -hmm. that. I, Are we having him back? Yeah, after we, the top six at six. Yeah, let's do that. But first, you gotta just go to music. You can play uh -huh. for us a little bit, a little mix, and then we go to our top six. Okay, then I'll just brief you guys on the top six at six, uh -huh. and then I play the music along with the top six at six. Yeah, top three. Uh, top three at six. Sorry, <laughs> my mind is quite away. Okay. Yeah. So the first song I was to do, I put them down, uh, is Murphy's Flow. Yeah, Hello shout light. out to Muffy. Yeah, actually, yeah, this one I just go. picked it because of the ladies, and apparently, yeah. all the ladies in that band are mothers. They are? Oh, shout out to Muffy's flow. Actually, there's something important I would say about the Mother's Day and the importance and significance of women in Islam, mm -hmm. but I think that we should save it for later, right? Okay, yeah, cool, when you come back. Yeah, when you yeah. Come back. yeah, yeah when but there's a lot. We need to talk this out. All right, so Muffy's flow. Yeah, I'm mean, Katy Perry. Today, I'm really doing women. Oh, Katy Perry, yes. oh, this is how we do. Yeah. I think Katy Perry is also a mother. Yeah. yeah. No, she's not, but she's, she's not cool. <laughs> uh, she could she's not a mother. <laughs> and then Lady Gaga, perfect illusion. Yeah. Oh. I Lady think also Lady Gaga, Gaga is... Yo, Gaga is Gaga. Is, is a like, mom also. She is, but she is... Like, I like her kind of crazy. Like, she is a sort of a weirdo, but then I dig her kind she's of cool. weird. She's like, cool. she's super cool. She's really cool. I'm sorry to Lady Gaga. Yeah, so that's and our top three at I, six. 
I like what you've done. You can see that everybody. We still have pop heads in the building. Mm. So you can see that. We also have pop, by the way. We have Katy Perry. We have Lady Gaga for you. <laughs> and then you have Murphy's Flow. They're they from Kenya. Alternative, yeah. So yeah, I'm just, alternative. I'm just alternative very much. I think because of yeah. Kesho. All right. right. Mm. So.